today we're going to talk about what is a function looking at just some ordered pairs. Are these, do these ordered pairs create a function? And the answer to this one is yes, it does, but how do you know? Well, let's look at the rules and then we're going to come back and explain this example a little bit more. Okay, what are the rules for deciding if you have a function or not? Well, first, you have to know that each X or input has only one unique Y output. Okay, that's kind of hard to think about, so I have an analogy to share with you. Think about a Coke machine. Okay, the Coke machine, the X values are like the buttons on the front of the machine. If you press the Coke button, you'll get a Coke out. If you press the Diet Coke button, you'll get a Diet Coke out. And if you press the Sprite button, you'll get a Sprite out. Can you push a Coke and get a Diet Coke out? No, that means it's not functioning correctly. Therefore, it's not a function. So, a Coke button cannot produce a different output other than Coke. Okay, so now let's go back and look at it with ordered pairs. Okay, we have the ordered pair or the X value of 1 and we get out a 2. So that's a unique output. We push the 2 button, we get out a 5. We push the 3 button, get out a 10. We push the 8 button, get out a 2. Now we've already gotten out a 2, but that's okay because we can have two different Coke buttons getting the same output. And then we have the 6 getting out of 5. Notice I've got two different buttons producing a 6. That's okay. But what we can't have, what so this one is a function as it stands. But what happens if I say we're going to have the 2 button and we're going to get out of 10. Now notice here I've got two 2's as two different buttons that are, let's say, Coke buttons. The first time I get out of 5, the second time I get out of 10, that's not possible. I can't push the same button and get out two different drinks. So that makes it not a function anymore. So you look for repeating X values. If you repeat an X value, you have to have the same repeating Y value. And that's how you can decide if you have a function or not given ordered pairs.